श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम विल रीड फ्रॉम मंत्र नंबर थ्री असुर्यानामते लोका अंधेन तमसावृतास्ते प्रीत्यागछति ये केत्मनो जना अने जेक मनसो जवीय नैनदेवा आपुवन पूर्वमर्षत तो ज्ञानते तिष्ठत तस्पो मातरीश्वादाती तदेजती तन्नजती तदूरे तदंति के तदंतर सर्वस्य तदुसर्वस्या बाह्यता इन द फोर्थ मंत्र वी वर टोल्ड व्हाट इज अवर एसेंशियल नेचर व्हाट वी आर व्हाट वी कॉल व्हाट इज गॉड व्हाट इज भगवान व्हाट इज ब्रह्मन व्हाट इज परमात्मा सो that reality we have to discover okay. so aneja dekam manaso javiyo that which is supporting all the changes but which doesn't undergo any change is the truth so in no time we come back to ourselves this journey is not in time and space we do not cross the distances it doesn't take any time this was told in the fourth mantra now we come to the fifth mantra tadejati tanejati ejati means moves okay so tad ejati tanna ejati it moves and it moves not the contradiction wherever there are contradictions in our scriptures the truth is hidden behind the contradictions this is the rule okay. what are the contradictions contradictions are called the dwandva technically speaking they are complementary opposites joy sorrows day night gain loss friend enemy success failure everything in this world is existing in complementary opposites there is no choice it is like this our samsara begins when we want only one type we want only success then who will have the failure in life both things are essential 
even if you are a Bengali, you keep on eating rosho gulla. After some time, you require chutney in between. Life is complete when we have got all the tests, not only one side. Thode gum hai, thode kushiya, e jivan hai. Then only our life can find fulfillment. But we are caught up only in unilateral experience demand. We should be always successful. We should not have any misery. Everybody should love us. Nobody should be our enemy. It is not possible. See friends, this is the meaning of spiritual practice according to Srimad Bhagavad Gita. In Bhagavad Gita, what is the spiritual practice? This verse which I am telling you is the one which you can sincerely practice. That is spirit. Others are only mechanical thing. Do. That is also for good for time pass. But it is not spiritual practice. Spiritual practice, one, nirmana moha, two, jita sangha dosha, three, adhyatma nitya, four, vinivrutta kama, fifth, dvanvair vimukta. These five things are sincerely practiced, then we are walking spiritual path or else we are walking religious path. In Bits Pilani, when I used to go there for talks, the vice chancellor, he is no more now, so he used to invite me, I used to go there. Once he asked me to speak to the students on um, religion, philosophy, spirituality, so we used to speak something on these topics. I said, okay. So I spoke three days on three topics. Conclusion was this. In religion, there is no God. In philosophy, there is no wisdom. Where God and wisdom coexist, that is spirituality. See? So, what is spirituality? Dvanvaihi vimuktaha. When we are no more influenced by the complementary opposites, we have attained everything. Like what? Tadejati tadure tadvadantike. See, that which is moving as well as it is not moving. Contradictions have come. Joy, who understands, who experiences, I experience. Sorrows, who experiences, I experience. Then who am I? I am supporting both joy and sorrows. That one which is supporting both joy and sorrows, that is our essential nature. How can it be revealed? Simplest technique. When misery is come, don't become miserable. When joy comes, don't become joyful. Meaning, experience without the birth of an experiencer is spiritual practice. Three, four good things. When you are extremely happy, don't promise anything to anybody. You will do a mistake. This mistake Dasharajji did when he promised uh, Kaikei and the whole Ramayana came. Out. When you are angry, don't discuss. And when you are confused, don't make decisions. In short, our mind should be available to us. This is what is said here. Tadai jati, tannai jati, that which moves and that which does not move. See? Swamiji, how did you come here? Oh, I came by sitting. By sitting? How can you come? Where were you? I was in North Carolina. And by sitting you came here, I guess. I did not do anything. No age at the, I did not move. But I moved, then only I came here. So the movement of the flight and my no movement put together, I am here. See, tade jati, tannai jati. And that is the reason I don't get the jet, uh, jet lag, what you people get. Because the jet is flying, why should I get the lag? You relax. See? Therefore, friends, the instruments are moving, 
the flight is aeroplane is moving we are not moving in the same manner one more example to understand this point one of my friends she uh, is a doctor now i don't know where is she uh, her father came here for checking or medical checkup and she showed to all the doctors everybody said to that old man you are perfectly all right when the old people are told you are perfectly all right they say doctor doesn't know anything they want some disease how come i am old and still i don't have disease this is not possible your doctor doesn't know anything i thought here in america the doctors will be better same stuff which is in india is over here all are indian doctors where will you go okay then she was frustrated swami ji i don't know what to do with my father he is making my life miserable i said you call me for dinner i am available free khana khilao so i went there had our food then i was talking to the old man so he started swami ji i came here i thought here doctors will be smart enough to find out what is wrong but they did nothing they don't know anything or don't know who made them doctors old people can say anything to anybody then um, i said what is the problem see i am not remembering the things therefore i said check what is wrong with me they say no everything is right with you so what to tell them i said okay now you answer my question don't argue okay yes when you were young how many chapatis you used to eat i used to eat this many chapati not in number now how many chapatis you can eat i can take maximum one height is one and a half chapati and that to gujarati chapati you know gujarati chapati is as thick as papad and gujarati uh, puri is as big as the button <laughs> so you can eat 20 of them you will shame her you know so he said then i said okay, how much laddu you used to eat i could consume easily 20 25 laddu now maybe half one okay when you were small or young did you have glasses no that time i had but now i can see with glasses now glasses vision has gone down yes earlier how much you used to lift 50 kg now i can lift at a time two papad see so all your faculties are becoming weak with the age is it not he said yes i said memory is also a faculty so it is natural condition but you are the same earlier you were remembering everything and now you are forgetting everything my friends i tell you one secret of happy life ability to forget is the gift of god those who cannot forget they suffer throat life take money from somebody and forget and see the joy <laughs> the one who remembers he suffers <laughs> अच्छा मैंने लिया था मुझे याद ही डोंट मेक योर लाइफ मिजरेबल बाय रिमेम्बरिंग ओल्ड स्टफ देर फॉर दिस पॉइंट आई एम एम्फोसाइजिंग अगेन एंड अगेन वेन यू टॉक अमंग योर सेल्फ पोल्ट्री फॉर्म कॉ 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 दैट टाइम डोंट टॉक अबाउट यूर पास्ट डोंट आस्क एनी बडी अबाउट देअर पास्ट देन वॉन्ट टू टॉक oh i think it is raining no but they say it's not rain but how come it is raining you know these these topics they don't create scene or merit but time pass ho jata hai see but we go on talking you know back home you know who asked you our mahamantra is there who asked you we keep on talking so these two principle remember when we talk to others we bring the past when we talk to ourselves we go in the future net result we are never in the present see therefore 
तदे जति तन्ने जति दैट विद सपोर्टिंग द द्वंद्व इज बियॉन्ड देम दैट इज अवर एसेंशियल नेचर so what is the spiritual practice therefore if there is a misery yes it will come and go it is not going to be permanent here if there is a joy that will also come and go this is how life is once you live with this wisdom you don't have to struggle to do the job and if you are a gujarati jai shri krishna jai shri krishna jai shri krishna then ultimately jai sk jai sk jai sk abbreviation of the mantra even bhagwan is not spared bhagwan has to open his whatsapp what is jsk 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 <laughs> see whether you do this or do it i have no problem about it remember only this much do not get over involved either in miseries or in joy maintain your balance tadai jati tannai jati that is what you are then tad dure tad vadantike where is the horizon for the ignorant person what is the horizon where the sky or the space meets the earth is it not so we see there far away where the sky touches the earth for that fool dur is far away but for the wise man the earth is in the sky tad dure tad vadantike for a miserable husband man is far away for a happy husband man is very near stop doing everything relax But that goes in our head, you know. We have to. I have to do some do some. enough of doing. Relax. Learn. One technique I'll tell you, and guarantee you will not do it. See my confidence. Because work on your mind. If you can mind your mind, you have learned all spirituality. Try this. Suppose you are doing japa, particular mantra. purposely knowingly don't do one day and watch your mind suppose you are doing meditation one day purposely knowingly don't do meditation and watch your mind we become addicted a guilt comes today without doing the japa i took the food oh wow what will happen who cares yaar we do we don't do does matter work on your mind save poor god you know the most miserable god he told me most miserable god is bhagwan ram not bhagwan krishna therefore i like him everybody keeps on eating rama's head ram 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 he comes and asks what do you want beta ram ram what do you want ram 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 he is not ready to listen to the lord in your heart what is the condition condition is like your children they go and hold on to the mom mummy 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 what do you want darling mummy mummy what do you want mummy mummy give one shut up what mummy mummy eating my head same way ram 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 he is talking to yes my dear what you want ram 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 then hanuman ji chu and all the problems will come to you therefore bhagwan krishna doesn't listen to you you keep on krishna krishna he is busy with his radha and music don't talking don't trouble bhagwan mind your mind if you can take care of your mind you have learned everything is spirituality because life is not lived by the body life is lived by the mind not by the body see you know that steve hawkins what was his name what was his condition of the body did his body live the life no 
Are your ears hearing or you are hearing? Are my lips talking or I am talking? We have to clearly understand that everything is happening only in the mind. But what happens? One part of the mind waking that we take real and by the same mind we have the dream that we take illusion. Either take both real or take both illusions. There are not two different minds. See, friends, once you get this point, everything happens only in the mind to the mind. Therefore, when the mind is clear, then we understand very clearly that what I am searching, this horizon is far away, no man where you are standing on horizon. In the same manner, for the ignorant person, Bhagwan is far away. See? And for the wise, Bhagwan is his own essential nature. See? So for him, when God is far away, he will struggle. I have to reach in time, I have to cross distances, I have to put efforts. And he who, for whom the Lord in his own heart is relaxed. Na kuch pana, na kuch kona. Therefore, my friends, your this doing, doing should be reduced. Relax. Relax. Even if you are sitting for your meditation. Sit there and learn. What we have to learn? Om Namah Shivaya. Silence. Om Namah Shivaya. Silence. So I have chanted two times. It became two because in between there was a silence. Absence of Om Namah Shivaya. But I have illuminated both of them. Presence and absence of both. Therefore, who am I? I am beyond the presence and absence. Now evaluate this analysis. Is it not true? Do I have experience of my absence? No. So if there is no possibility of my absence, why I have to say that I am that? In no time, my friends, doesn't take even a fraction of a moment. Tade jati, tanne jati, tad dure, tad vad antike. Then, tadan tarasya sarvasya. The third important thing. When the world is created, the world is created when the illusion of in and out is taken as real. Now understand, this is very simple, but very deep, deep inquiry. The space is inside the house. Space is outside also. So are there two spaces? Only one space. So what is the complete understanding? Complete understanding is, the house is in the space. Space is not in the house. See? So, from the house's point of view, inside, outside. And from the space's point of view, no inside, no outside. Change the standpoint. And are we living on the walls? We are living in the space. We are not living on the walls. But our attention is towards the walls. And because of the walls, we have created an illusion of inside, outside. The truth is, the house is in the space. If this point is clear, now become subjective. External air and internal air. Can you cut them off? 
do your kumbhak for half an hour what will happen you will not ask any question so external air and internal air must be in a continuous contact is it not so internal and external is with reference to the body but from the air point of view the body is in the air air is not in the body when the body is not air continues to exist but if the air is not body cannot exist therefore air is the container and the body is the contents go further any object that is included in the mind that only exists for us so the object is outside knowledge is inside therefore it is the same mind which is catching the object outside and knowing it inside therefore from our point of view inside outside but from the mind's point of view the body and the prana they are in the mind and therefore body is never tired it is the mind that is tired why the mind is tired because in a carry bag of the mind is the pumpkin of the body now who is on tension the pumpkin or the carry bag exactly the same way it is the mind that is in tension that is tired not the body and when the mind is tired what the mind does gives the relative standpoint drops the body identification the moment the mind drop body identification without death then there is no concept in deep sleep of inside or outside in deep sleep we are inside the body or outside the body we are inside the house or outside the house but we are still there see my friends therefore tadantarasya sarvasya the truth is from our body point of view inside as well as outside but from the truth's point of view there is no difference between inside and outside therefore we may say toilet space is unholy and the temple space is holy but are the space from space's point of view neither the temple space is holy nor the toilet space is unholy in short change your standpoint in life we are caught up in standpoint this is the meaning tadantarasya sarvasya we are all permeated by his divine presence and tadu sarvasya asya vayataha and yet the truth is not influenced by anything we have the corona we have the cough and cold the air is not influence in our house there is lot of smoke and then tang 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 starts the outer space is not influence see tadantarasya bahyasya taru sarvasyasya bahyataha now put the whole thought together whole thought is we are in the divine the divine is both inside and outside from our body point of view now about this i'll give one or two examples once i was in hawaii with my friend he that was his birthday so he took me there we had about four five days nice we moved around there is one very good shiva temple there so we went to some chinese hotel for taking food i said hey you find out what is available and i was watching the things there was a huge uh, aquarium so i took my camera i was taking pictures so he says how are you what are you doing i said you can see what i am doing so, no but which picture you are taking i said you imagine he said maybe you are taking the picture of the fish i said no taking the picture of the snake in that aquarium i said no 
taking the picture of the inner inner decorations i said no i don't know what you are doing i said no don't give up think more um maybe the size of the aquarium i said no he said i give up you tell me i said i am seeing the water oh god i said now tell me what i am seeing in the water he said fish i said no what i was seeing if you add few more fish in the water will it be a burden for the water if you take out all the fish from the water will it be a loss to the water because water is a support fish are supported in the same manner we support everything if i am there then my wife if i am there then my profession if i am there then my country if i am not there nothing exists here we have to find out which i we are is it the individual i or the only i see my friends we have to change our way of looking at the world one of my friend a police officer he came and he said swami ji i am very busy these days i am not able to come for satsang so give me some homework so can i can do it at home very well read police officer it was 8 o'clock 9 o'clock i said are you ready he said yes i said now answer my questions close the door he closed switch off the light switch it off and now tell what are you seeing he said only darkness nothing i said don't answer like a dumb person again i am asking what do you see i am seeing darkness was wrong eyes cannot see darkness eyes can see only the light okay so i am wrong i said okay, switch on the light he switched on now tell what are you seeing he said everything in the room i said enumerate the chair your bed your laptop your table the water bottle your shoes is there anything more he said no all these things I said I am seeing something more. What is that now? I said I am seeing light also. Oh, so much. I said, come on, go ahead. What more you are seeing? I am still seeing something more. He said, now the I give up. Nothing is more than this. I said I am seeing electricity. Without electricity, can there be light? Without light, can you see the object? so why this is happening we are so much obsessed and lost in the objects we cannot see the light we are so much lost in the light we cannot see the electricity exactly the same way we are so much lost in this world we cannot see our own faculties we are so lost in our own in, uh, indriyas sense organs organs of action that we don't see the mind we are so lost in the mind likes and dislikes we don't see the wisdom and we are so lost in the wisdom we don't know the source of that wisdom so the journey is from the periphery to the center start upanishad says na karmana na prajaya dhane na tyage naike amrutatva manasho parena nakam nitam guhayam विभ्राजते यो विशति वेदात विज्ञान सुनिश्चिता संन्यास योगात शुद्ध सत्वा ते ब्रह्म लोके तो परातकारे परामृता परिमुच्य सर्वे इन कैवल्य उपनिषद विष्णु मंत्र का वेर इट इज हेड दैट त्यागे नैके अमृतत्व मानसु 
give up the objects come to the sense organs give up the sense organs come to the mind give up the likes and dislikes come to the eye give up the eye come to the divine the process of only giving up not getting anything therefore our mantra is na kuch pana na kuch khona But then if we start imagining that when I do this sadhana, then I will go and touch somebody's back and his pain will go. See? There was one such a seeker. He prayed to the Lord, Hanumanji, 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 yes, what do you want? I want to spend every drop of my blood for the um, curing the cancers of this world. Hanumanji said, Tathastu. Then, Next day morning, he started in search of cancer patients. Like those who learn homeopathy from books, they go, are sab theek hai na? Or else your next homey ka 30. So, he went and he found one uh, patient cancer. He took the needle, suck this thing. Your cancer will be done. When you are ill, you can do anything. So he sucked the blood. Next day, go to the doctor. Cancer cured. Do you think he will keep quiet? Immediately, Facebook, everything. Such and such person, when you take a drop of blood from his body, your cancer is cured. Next day, 20,000 people in a queue. And he was thinking, my whole blood will be sucked. I will be left with nothing. He ran away, went to Anumanji. Anumanji, take it back. <laughs> Don't get lost in this world, my friends. See, how simple spiritual life is, but we want to become someone extraordinary. Remember this principle, spiritual life is drop every extra, remain simple. Nobody should even suspect that we are walking the spiritual path. Be common. But how? Like the space. With equal ease, the space supports the sanctum of a temple and a commode in the toilet without any difficulty. The rule is support is not influenced by what is supported. Simple rule. When you follow this rule, then we understand this mantra that. Tade jati, tanne jati, all changes are supported, but it doesn't undergo any change. Tad dure, tad dure, For the ignorant, Bhagwan appears to be far away, but for the wise, he is his own essential nature. Tadantarasya sarvasya. Therefore, everything is supported by the truth, and yet it is beyond everything. This is the meaning that we have to work on ourselves. Sixth mantra. Yastu Sarvani Bhutani Atman Nevanu Pashati Sarva Bhuteshu Natmanam Tato Naviju Gupsate Yasmin Sarvani Bhutani Atman Atmai Vabhut Vijanataha Tatra ko moha kasho kaha ekatva manupashataha. Now, these mantras you come, come across in other Upanishads also and also in Bhagavad Gita. In the sixth chapter, similar mantra comes Yasmin Saravani Bhutani, Atman Neva Anupashati, Sarva Bhutastam Atmanam, Natato Vijugupsade. Last line changes. Yasmin Sarvani Bhutani Atmanne Vanu Pashati. He who is able to, Sarvani Bhutani, everything is Atmani in me. In other words, whenever we include anything in the definition of our I, see, we have no hatred for that. Vijugupsa means hatred. Whatever, whatever is included in the definition of I, we do not hate that. Is the rule. See? 
like you know these girls or ladies they have got such long nice nails and so many colors and all that these days you know better than me but i see in the flight and everywhere every finger, nail has got a different design and different color and all that you know and they are constantly looking at how i look and i ne me dekho as long as they are touched to their body with whatever reason if some nail breaks will they keep it there is so nice you know no it's a garbage in short whatever is included in the definition of i we do not hate i give you one dirty example then you remember pakka we all know in our large intestine and bladder what are the contents you are all educated think of it do we get a, a feeling of hatred in the mind we don't get whatever you may try you don't get the moment it comes out now try to have a feeling of love <laughs> because separated from the definition of i he who has yasmin sarvani bhutani atmani eva anupashyati he who has included everything and being in the definition of his i na tato vijugupsate he can never have hatred for anybody i tell you once i went to shirdi in that uh, there are so many lakhs of people because they know me i get a quick entry so those commander who are with me they also come so we went there and then the puja and everything in no time but no hurry because i am a special guest there so but i had nothing to ask so i go do namaskar and then they give me one uh, coconut and one mala thank you all so one commander lo ask me swami ji you get a chance to stand there longer time but you just come out in 2 seconds and for all the police is pushing us out i said look here longer the namaskar longer is the demand of li- list of demands ye karo wo karo aisa karo waisa karo ye karo aur ek bhul gaya that means you don't have any demand i said no i got only one i got it what is that i said wo andar ki baat hai no 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 please tell me i said i'll tell you on one promise you will ask only that nothing else in your life when you go to any temple he said yes done i said look here i asked him and he gave me we should not have a feeling of hatred or bitterness towards anything or anybody even in the dream even once even for fun ask this bhagwan is searching for such a place which is clean which is pure where he can go and rest where he will goes there is sukha kitna gila ka jara de ya kahan jao the friends whole life changes my friends you don't have to do anything outside outside drama going on but we take the drama to be very serious so yastu sarvani bhutani atmani ev anupashyati and sarva bhuteshu chatmanam the second thing like you are parents you and your children are separate from each other but what happens the father who could not enjoy whatever he wanted as a child because of the poverty or because of no possibility he fulfills his childhood dreams in his own son when he is grown up man is it not because he sees himself reflected in his own child child is separate he is separate this is the meaning yastu sarvani bhutani atmani eva anupashyati include everything in one self and then sarva bhuteshu chatmanam in all being it is only my extension 
See? So the child is an extension of the mother or the father. Understand this? Now one more point I will tell you. Very simple, it is not difficult. Take a center, one uh, radius of one inch, a circle you draw. Take the same center, another radius of two inches from the same center, draw another circle. There will be second circle, third. You may go on adding any number of centers. Will it be a burden on the center? If you remove some centers, will it be a loss? Center is that which supports everything but doesn't get influenced by anything. Is it not? We are supported, childhood, teenage, middle age. We are the same. Na tato vijigupsate. We will be free from hatred in our heart. Hatred is like, you know, there are some girls or boys, whatever maybe. They have got, suppose, one small uh, leucoderma spot on the face. All the plus points of the beauty, everything, get cancelled or reduced because of that one spot, is it not? In the same manner, we may have everything. But if there is even an iota of hatred for anything in the world, we are yet to purify ourselves. We may not love everybody, but we should not hate anybody. Very important thing. Na tato vijugupsate. And when you practice this, slowly, slowly, the net result is, you are effortlessly gliding in you. See? When you love somebody, you may forget. But when you hate somebody, you never forget. Because hatred is more intense than the love. In hatred, the ego is very strong. In love, the ego is not that strong. Because love is a positive uh, aspect of the mind. Hatred is a negative aspect. E friends, therefore, Sarveshu Bhuteshu na tato vijugupsate. And in the seventh mantra, the teacher says, Yasmin Sarvani Bhutani Atmani Eva Anupash Atman Neva Atmeva Bhut Vijanataha. When a person comes to discover Sarvani Bhutani Atma Eva Abhut, everything is nothing but my own extension. See? There are three persons. One is first person, second person, third person. The third person we all know, he, she, it. Third person singular. What is the plural of the third person singular? They. That also continues to be third person. Second person singular is thou. What is the plural of second person singular? You. Continues to be second person. So what is the first person singular? I. What is the plural of I? We. Include all the persons. So when we live in the life, this simple rule, less of I and more of we. See, slowly, slowly, our strong personality starts dissolving like the ice cube starts melting away in the water without making noise. So, Yasmin Sarvani Bhutani Atma Eva Abhut Vijanataha. When I come to know that when I am there, then my wife, then I am there. So everything is my own extension. See?
this experience is the experience of all the great devotees of the Lord. See? Because for them, wherever Deha Bhimane Galite Vidyate Paramatmani Yatra Yatra Mano Yati Tatra Tatra Samadaya. He who has transcended the body identification and he who has merged in the totality in the light of wisdom, he is living 24 7 in meditation. Yatra Yatra Mano Yati Tatra Tatra Samadaya. For everything he is in Samadhi, he is in meditation. What is the Samadhi and meditation? Silent suffering? No. Cheer and happiness. Cheer and happiness living at zero complaint level. We see it for meditation. That also complaints. But I am meditation. Why me? <laughs> because you are struggling. Don't struggle. Relax. See? So, Yasmin Sarvani Bhutani Atma Eva Abhut Vijanataha He who has thus come to discover. Now, to bring this point, take your own personal example. Right hand I am, left hand I am. Right leg I am, left hand I am. Then, mouth I am, nose I am here. Everywhere I am. Yasmin, when every part of the body is me, can there be any liking or disliking for any part of the body? See, friends. Therefore, Tatrako Moha Kasho Kaha. How there can be any delusion? In Kerala, during the summer, it's too hot. And there, if you have seen, during summer, the daytime, elderly big people, they sleep on the floor. Is cemented. No AC everywhere. So they sleep because it is so hot. And their Madhya Pradesh is like a helipad. And when they are sleeping, if a small lizard does a landing exercise, Immediately, that huge structure will get up. Oh God, what happened? Because something else other than I has fallen. But when their heavy hand of one ton, when it lands on their own stomach, there is no fear. The reason is, there is no sense of otherness. Samsara begins. This is what is mentioned here. Yasmin Sarvani Bhutani Atma eva abhut vijanataha tatra ko moha kasho kaha. What is there to gain or lose in this world? World has always been like this. There was a great Mahatma, he went for viksha. And in that house it so happened, some child died. So that lady came and she said, You are a Mahatma, please make my child alive. He said, Look here, I will do that, but who will do my work? Of Begging. I will do it for you. Okay, go from five houses, get some bhiksha and come back. Meanwhile, keep your child alive. So that mother, she doesn't understand, she goes. Wait, 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 wait. What? You go to any house, but ask there. Has any death never happened in this house? Get food only from that house where never any death has ever happened. She doesn't understand what she is doing. He went from house to house, house to house, and she comes back. It is inevitable. That which is inevitable, if we accept it gracefully, we are spiritual seekers. If we accept it, Majburi ka naam Mahatma Gandhi, then suffer, nobody can help us. Therefore, Tatra ko moha kasho kaha. Moha is not ready to accept the things under the influence of delusion, is Moha. Moha is inside. Effect is illusion outside. And because of that Moha, Shoka, the miseries come. The exact 
पिक्चर इज दैट ऑफ अर्जुना इन द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ गीता ही वॉज डेल्यूडेड हिमसेल्फ सेज कार्पण्य दोषो पत स्वभावा पृछा मी ताम धर्म समूढ़ चेता समूढ़ मीन्स मोह आई हैव गॉट सो मच पीटी ऑन माई सेल्फ कार्पण्य दोष सेल्फ पीटी एंड देअर फोर आई एम कन्फ्यूज वॉट इज माय धर्म एट दिस स्टेज so why what was the confusion whether i am a disciple a grandson a brother or i am a warrior that was the confusion and what bhagwan has done only gave him sufficient data now you work on that and what is the work you find out at this moment wherever you are whenever you are whatever you are who are you at this moment are you a disciple a grandson a brother or a warrior you decide and he realizes really on the battlefield i can be only a warrior and he will do in the same manner when you are sitting for meditation as a husband who will be your ist anishta devata लोगों की बीबिया देखो कितनी अच्छी होती है तुम कहोगे नसीब में ऐसी क्यों है इज डूइंग मेडिटेशन हजबेंड देर फोर आई डोंट नो व्हाट यू पीपल टू ट्राई दिस फ्यू स्टेप्स इट विल हेल्प यू नंबर वन वेन यू आर सिटिंग डोंट डू इट एज ए पनिशमेंट यार फिर मेडिटेशन करना ही है को बताया रोज क्या करो आज मेरा मूड एनीवे जाके डोंट डू इट एज ए पनिशमेंट इफ यू कैन डन नेवर माइंड रिलैक्स एनीथिंग यू बिगिन विथ एस चेयरफुल हैप्पी मूड यू आर सक्सेसफुल नंबर वन सेकंड थिंग कीप इन योर हार्ट योर गुरु एंड योर गॉड the god will protect you from inside guru will guide you from inside many seekers have got the fear when they sit for meditation samajhi i always get the fear you know how the fear comes they sit and they start breaking the joints why holding with the nikal to nahi gaya see why that fear comes because of funny funny ideas i didn't know that one person asked me swami ji i always get a fear when i sit for meditation suppose i start levitating levitating what will happen <laughs> that depends where you are sitting suppose you are sitting below a moving fan and suppose you are sitting below a tree you will go and hang to the tree these are fears to remove that remember this your beloved god and your guru is in your heart you are not alone you are secured by the insurance see then the third important principle when you are sitting there take a position at this moment i am mr nobody nobody means what the one who doesn't have the past in many of my retreats i have given one mantra diksha i'll give you also now what is the date today i forget always 29th april 2023 put your heart a hand on your heart and repeat after me 29th april 2023 29th april 2023 29th April 2023. Diksha is over. Now listen. Do not talk anything. Whatever has happened in your life before this date. Now try to talk. This is ego. All the time. bringing the past bringing the past and that past goes so back samji last time when i sat for meditation you know it was so nice i could see the light and all that you know this this light is not coming 
remember meditation is never repeated not only that no experience is ever repeated you are driving every day from your home to your work the same point of origin and destination is it every driving the same driving nothing is repeated in life which includes the meditation also whenever you do anything mechanically you lose the charm in life anything you do mechanically see this principle i learned in a factory it was a, a file factory you know the steel files which are used for smoothing the surfaces a huge factory there were about uh, 300 lathe machines and all and with every machine there is one person so my friend took me showed that very big huge one i said uh, may i talk to somebody he says yes swami ji please talk and then one person i asked elderly person i said hey uh, if i talk to you your work will be disturbed he said no i can talk to you you can talk to me and i'll reply as soon i can do the work also then i ask him how come your work is not disturbed when you are talking to me he said this i have been doing for last 23 years i don't have to look into it i can just do it it has become so like a robot i am doing it i said you are doing the same thing every day for 20 are you not getting bored he said bored maha bored then he said what can i do i have to take care of my wife children i have to do this there is no choice but it is boredom life how do you deal with he says how you i'll tell you the truth yes when i go home desi i drink i said anyway never mind continue my friend told me swami ji good this topic came i will uh, make a gathering of all these workers after their work you please suggest them stop drinking they are wasting lot of money i said hey if i work with them i will also start drinking <laughs> i said can you imagine their life when you are your life is mechanical you lose the charm of life these things therefore i told you real spiritual practices learn every moment in uh, probably delhi or somewhere one uh, rickshaw wala he brought me somewhere i said hey um, have you seen that movie maharaj any movie comes new first day first show is be there he was telling so cheerfully happily i said but you spend so much of money and uh, he said what else can i do he said i live in a slum my useless wife and horrible children whole life i am spending there so when i go to the movie at least i can sit there comfortably in that ac hall and i imagine i am that hero and that heroine is my wife and i enjoy that one hour two hours so you can't blame him see the same thing happens anything you do mechanically do meditation mechanically you will become a robo live fresh cheerful happy every moment otherwise vai tama go vai chuna let our life be not mechanical then we will understand these mantras they are so beautiful यस्मिन् सर्वाणि भूतानि आत्मा एव अभूत विजानता तत्र को मोहक शोक एक सच ए पर्सन इज एट होम इन एवरी प्लेस विथ एवरी वन ऑल द टाइम बिकॉज वी डोंट हैव टू प्रूव एनीथिंग 
the life is like if you take uh, this simple example somebody was bringing food for me here only in usa it happened somewhere mother brought and her son also came and he was crying hey, hey, hey. i feel like giving you one i said he'll make more or he may call 911 so i was suffering and that mother was giving me food i said no what to do with this fellow so i asked him i said hey i want to put all the ice cubes in this glass you know but they are not going you know what should i do should i break the glass put them in again unite the glass even in that crying he started laughing he said you are so stupid swami say what happened how can you break the glass and then put in again you need it then what should i do so my idea was to change his channel so what should i do he said simply leave it there don't do anything then the ice will melt and they'll go inside i said hey you are such a genius intelligent yes again so <laughs> committed to crying Now what we have to do for the ice to melt? Do don't do anything. But ice cubes are strong personalities, and water is comfortable. Keep it in a petri dish, comfortable. Put it in a test tube, comfortable. Put it in a capillary tube, comfortable. Ice cube put anywhere. <laughs> See. so whenever you are at home in every place in every time with everyone understand you are slowly slowly liquefying the strong ice cube ego we friends don't have to be extraordinary remain ordinary and you will realize that it is easier than to be extraordinary Seventh mantra. Now we come to the eighth mantra. Ah, you have time? No problem. If some of you want to sleep, I have no problem. <laughs> Swami ji, do you think we are taking your permission? <laughs> <laughs> What I see from here, my friends, you don't see from there. <laughs> here i get vishwarupa darshan <laughs> and see my commitment and yet i don't get discouraged <laughs> eighth mantra sa paryaga shukramakaya mavranam sa paryaga shukram akayam अव्रणम अस्नाविर शुद्ध अपापविध कवि मनीषी परीभु स्वयंभु यथात अर्थान व्यदाद शाश्वतीभ्य स Oh God! <laughs> It's so simple and so beautiful, it is. Now, so Paryagat. Paryagat means he who comes to realize the truth. Paryagat, he who comes to discover, know, experience. So Paryagat. What? Akayam. So Paryagat. Ashukram. It means so Paryagat. Shukram, not the Shukram. So, Shukram. Shukram means pure. Pure means free from the blemish of ignorance. He who has thus transcended the causal body, then Akayam. He who has transcended the subtle body, Avranam. He who has uh, trans- transcended the gross body, Asnaviram, and Shuddham. And therefore, he is immaculate pure. Meaning what? no more influenced by the gross body therefore no sukha kachra 
he is not influenced by the subtle body therefore no gila kachra and the one who is not influenced by the causal body therefore not intellectual intellectual suffer intelligently in life they prove Swamiji, if you are in my place, I, you will be also miserable. So, you are proving miserable, Tathastu, who cares? <laughs> Never justify you are miserable in life. This is what we seek sympathy from the others by justifying our misery. No. We are here only to distribute joy. So, Saparaga, Shukramakayam, Avranam, Asnaviran, Shuddham. Therefore, beyond all the wrong notions and apapa with them, and therefore we have not done anything wrong in our life. To get rid of that anything wrong, this is the technique which I told you. 29th April 2023, don't bring it from today onwards at all. But every day not the same mantra. Tomorrow the mantra will change. 30th April 2023. Oh God. Fresh mantra man. Not the same mechanically. No. Give it a try. Otherwise we get lost only in the past. See? And it is not. See. When Grastas talk you know. Uh, Mama Bhaja or something like that. It, is, it looks good. But Babaji is like us, they also talk. He is my guru bhai, she is my guru bahan, he is my chacha guru, dada guru, see? Guru patni. No, guru patni nahi hoti hai. See friends, don't create any unwanted relations in this world and lead your life cheerfully and happily. Therefore, when you are thus out of this catch of the relative world, there is a simple rule. In relative world, there is no problem which has got absolute solution. In the absolute, there is no problem to be solved. There is only one option. Play the role in the relative and abide in the absolute. Dosha, Om. Dosha, Om. Do you remember that? That is meditation. And how do you do that? Wherever you are, whenever you are, whatever you are, be 100%. Life becomes easy. See? Now, such a person, such a Mahatma, he is called as Kavihi. He is Manishi. Kavihi means what? He who is Krantadarshi. He who is able to transcend the limitations of time and able to lead his life without the influence of time. See? Therefore, all the great masters appeared all the times. It's not only in this Yuga there were great Mahatmas. In that Yuga, no, any time. You see, everywhere. In all time, place, everywhere. All the great masters appear. Manishi, they are contemplative and they give us the scriptures. See, therefore our Vedas are called as Apavrusheya. They are not attributed to anybody. Our Sanatan Dharma is based on principles and not personalities. You may go to temple or not, still you are the same. You may worship Anumanji, your wife worships Krishna, your children worship uh, Devi and your somebody doesn't worship anything, yet you are the same. It is not the dictation, you have to do this or you go to hell, no. That freedom is being told in our scriptures. Therefore, Kavi Manishi Paribhu, Swayambhu and he has thus discovered his divine nature, then Yatha Tatyataha. Whatever is right for the evolution of the seekers, Vedadat Shashwati Vyasamabhya, for the eternal eternity, what is to the life should be, how should we live ourselves, how we should be self disciplined, all that is indicated in our scriptures by such great masters who are abiding in the truth. 
See, friend, and therefore it is said, Binu Hari Krupa Mile Nahi Santa. Banta Mil Jata hai. Santa Nahi Milta. See, Binu Hari Krupa Mile Nahi. In uh, Audhut Gita, the first shloka is, Ishvara Nugraha Teva Pumsa Madvaita Vasana Mahat Bhaya Paritrana Nviprana Mupajayate By the grace of God alone, we are attracted towards the Advaita Tattva. See, there are four graces. God's grace comes in our life when we come in contact with the Mahatmas. We all have this experience. We come across some Mahatmas not by planning, it just happens. See? First, by God's grace, we come across Mahatmas. By the grace of the Mahatmas, we come across the scriptures. By the grace of the scriptures, we come across the right way of practicing our spiritual life. Three graces are done. Only one is remaining. What is that? We have to bless ourselves. Atma Krupa. Okay, from tomorrow I will start and it will never come. See, friends, no day passes without our being with ourselves. Have a date with yourself every day. You meet somebody or not, doesn't matter. Spend time with yourself. A person who can remain alone without getting lonely, without any external support of anything, he alone is ready to get established in the truth. And who is that person? This one which is indicated here. Saparyaga Shukrama Kaya Mavaram Asnaviram Shuddhama Papa Vidam Kavir Manishi Paribu Swayambhu Yatha Tatyata Arthan Vidadan Shashwati Vyasama Vyaha. And all the scriptures which are told by such great master Shashwati Vyasama Vyaha. They are for eternity. They are not only for a particular people in a particular geographical location given at a particular time and valid only for that. No. It is not like a visa. See? Like we are so modern that the morning news become old by the afternoon. Is it not? We want the fresh news. Bhagavad Gita is more than 500 years old. Rather, 5000 years old, not 500. So, the old Bhagavad Gita, it is not outdated. One young man asked me this question. I said, let us see. Inquire. All questions can be resolved by proper inquiry. What was the problem of Arjuna? Kama, Krodha, Lobha, Moha, Madha, Is there something different now? Arjuna was seen by the eyes. We also see by the eyes. Arjuna was using the archery and all that. We also use that. Arjuna was confused. We are always confused. What is the change? Therefore, this knowledge is not given to a person. It is for the humanity. Shashwati Vyasamabhya. And this knowledge can stand the taste of time. It will be eternal. Hereafter, whatever remains, we will see. Do we have a more classes or we can conclude here? I don't know. You have got classes? Tomorrow? Okay. So tomorrow, those who want to suffer, you are welcome. <laughs> Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Sri Guru Bhyonamaha Harihi Om